One, two, three. Let me explain. Gerard Butler is the kind of actor people would love to pound a beer with, except he doesn't drink. So I thought I would challenge him to a little friendly chocolate milk chugging contest. Let's see what happened during our race, as well as what we talked about for the reason he was in town, his new movie, Machine Gun Preacher. I win. Well done, sir. <coughs> Scotland one. Into the lungs. <laughs> Scotland one, Chicago zero. Yeah. <clears throat> How much do you think when people meet you, you know, you've played a lot of very masculine characters, what do you feel like they expect out of you um, in an everyday conversation as a result of that? It's interesting you say that because I've tried to get past thinking about that because it never really leads you anywhere good when you when you think people have expectations of you. Sure. I try to be decent with people. My feeling has generally been most people appreciate that, that you can stay grounded and warm and... and, 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 and and friendly towards him, but I have no doubt that sometimes people go almost, oh wow, he's real, he's normal, you know, what a disappointment. <laughs> well, do you recall yeah. something that someone has said on the street or something, trying to bring this character out of you that... Oh, all the time, I mean, I constantly have people asking me to quote lines from movies or to give them, especially 300 of course, I'm um, already you know, give him one of those kicks. I mean, literally, somebody asked me recently to kick him in the chest as hard as I could. You know, and they were like, go. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, go, just do it, kick me, kick me. Like, I won't be angry, it's just okay. No, no, and, I, but, and I'm like thinking this is funny, and I went, no, and he went, go, kick me. I'm like, oh, this is so stupid. No, I'm not gonna do it, you know. So I hit him in the head with a baseball bat, and then we were fine. Have there been any of your films that, for whatever reason, you haven't been especially happy with how they turned out? Yes. I'm not going to tell you, but <clears throat> um, there have without doubt been movies that I've watched and went, what a waste of time that was. And that's, you know, I can say that now and maybe kind of smile about it, but i got to tell you, when that happens, it's really depressing because it's months out of your life and, you know, you take... You know, people can laugh at movies that you did and say, well, that was not that great, you know, and, and that's true. Even I can do that. But when you take on a movie, you truly believe that it's going to be good for whatever reason. It's going to be funny. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be moving. It's going to send a great message. And when that doesn't happen, one, it can be embarrassing because you're on that screen and you go, oh, God, you know, you're then going to have to go and talk about that movie uh, a lot. And, you know, that, that can be tough. But also it's just a a lot of time for nothing. Can you sense that it's happening as you make it or it's only after you see it? Um, both. Um, <clears throat> normally you can tell. There was a movie I did that I didn't like and I knew from the first take. And I was relatively inexperienced at that point and I was just so excited that I got the role. Uh, that I only assumed that the movie was going to be great. I was very naive. And then um, literally from the first action a few people in the scene we all started talking and I went oh god this is going to be crap and I then had to go on and uh, spend many months filming that in can you give me one time. one title that made you feel this way no first letter no <laughs> rhymes with <laughs> rhymes with no <laughs> did you ever doubt yourself I've, I've spoken to actors who've taken similar kind of leaps with projects and and say that there were times that they didn't even know if they could do what they had signed on to do. I, I always, you know, I'm not just saying this, I always doubt myself, you know, I, I, I swing between thinking I'm going to knock this out the ballpark to this is going to suck so bad. I mean, I tell you, even 300, there'd be times that I was doing it going, okay, this is amazing, to other times when I was thinking, this is so ridiculous, I can't believe we're standing here looking at nothing, <laughs> talking, you know, talking nonsense. Um, and I definitely had that with this. I'm pulling it off. I'm pulling off the accent. I'm pulling off the character. Is it too melo melodramatic? Um, uh, am I representing this man? Uh, you know, well. So definitely, you get that a lot. How upset were you uh, when you heard about Gerard Depardieu's public urination incident and just thinking about the careless way he's dishonoring the name Gerard? <laughs> 
I didn't. It didn't cross my mind. I'm all for public urination. You are. Oh yeah. Yeah. You From just be able to relieve yourself whenever you feel like it. Personal experience. Um, absolutely. I just did it earlier on today. <laughs> in that corner? No, no. Um, out on the street. Yeah. I was just. I don't know. Just, just close to the hotel. Oh. But I gotta go back to the urination thing because I know that I'll be picked up by somebody going, Gerard Paul, it was urinating on a CC Chicago. This is the unfortunate thing now with what you do. It, it's funny because you try to, when I started, you know, <laughs> you make these jokes and then of course the press take complete advantage and say, oh, we know he was joking, but let's pretend that he said that seriously. You heard him, Gerard Butler urinated on the streets of Chicago. <laughs>